While skip counting on the abacus, you want all your beads to be clear to the right with the smiley face. We have the red in the lead. When doing skip counting, you don't want kids to continue just putting seven on each row because it's not helping them really develop the patterns of multiplication. Instead, we want kids to be able to skip count by seven by showing seven beads, pushing an additional seven by knowing to decompose seven is to be four or three and four, so they can easily see that it's 14. They're gonna push over seven more, which is six and one, to get the total of 21. Four and three is gonna be an additional seven. As they push it, they can see 28. They're gonna push their two and their five over to get 35. Seven more is 42. Seven more is 49. Seven more is 56. Seven more is 63. And they're finally going to get to 70. Kids now can skip count backwards by reading the beads and pushing seven. So we often say read the beads, push, read and push. So if I'm here, I'm at 70. If I push seven, I can look at the beads and see 63. I'm gonna push seven. I can easily see that I have 56. Push, can see that I have 49. I'm gonna push seven and see that I have 42. Push seven, see that I have 35. Here I have 28. Push seven more, I have 21. Push seven more, I have 14. Going back, I have seven, and now I have zero. Skip counting forward and backwards on the abacus.